What's up fam? It's your boy Tayshawn. And Safina. And we're back with another video, man. In this story time, what we're gonna talk about is how we became Christians. Uh, man, I feel like sometimes when I was young, I feel like I, re I didn't really understand what Christianity was about. Like I didn't understand uh I didn't understand anything about Jesus. I didn't understand anything about God. I didn't understand anything about Jesus being God. I didn't understand the gospel. Um, but when I first was introduced to Christianity, uh, I grew up in like a Baptist church. Uh, and my mom just kind of took us to church. And I had a lot of questions, man. A lot of questions about everything. I questioned everything in the mud, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to this day, I have a lot of questions, uh, but I'm grateful that scripture gives us answers, you know what I'm saying? Um, and not saying that you like we have to know every answer to every question, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but there is a, a significant amount of answers that you can find in scripture uh, that, that can stand alone, you know what I'm saying? So scripture can stand on its own. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. But I had a lot of questions growing up and people wouldn't answer it. They'll give me like crazy stuff like, oh, don't question God. That didn't benefit me at all. You know what I'm saying? Or, oh man, just because the Bible say so, no, that's not going to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyway, I came, my mom and dad took me to church. Uh, my mom and dad took me to church. That's kind of how I was introduced to Christianity. Kind of got uh, curious about what it was. And then after that, uh, I met Stefina, uh, which is where I really, really started being interested. That's where my questions really started to begin to be answered. It's after I met Safina, uh, and I met her dad, and he took time with me and stuff like that. Now, granted, every answer that he gave me wasn't like too legit, uh, but like he answered the question. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's where a lot of young people are at. Like sometimes it's like, oh, if I just can get an answer. Um, and then after a course of time, you learn that some, certain answers ain't legit. Um, and I said that everything he taught me wasn't legit. I mean, but like a lot, like you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm like whatever. Anyway. I met her dad and I'm so grateful for the time that he spent with me. You know what I'm saying? So grateful for the if it wasn't for him spending that time of discipleship wouldn't be what it looked like now for me. Uh, because I saw a man that would stay up with me late at night and I saw a man that even if you know what I'm saying, even if he didn't know everything, he would like go try to study and do the best to his ability, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm really grateful for that. Uh, and so I'm not trying to downplay anything he did, you know what I'm saying? I'm super grateful for it. Uh, and then after that um, is when I moved to Atlanta. Uh, I moved to Atlanta and then that's when I first heard the word, the gospel. So I heard the word, the gospel, but the gospel was never explained in a way that I could conceive it. Um, so I heard the word, the gospel way. I was like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? And so then, man, freaking looking on YouTube, freaking, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, man, just trying to understand reading scripture. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say YouTube is on it, but reading scripture and looking at YouTube and uh, continue to read, stuff like that. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 was something that really hit me. Uh, when it, when it says, uh, I presented to you the gospel, and then it shares what the gospel was, the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, Paul said that we preach Christ and him crucified. Like, we don't preach anything else. He said, I claim to know nothing. Uh, and so that really intrigued me. So that's kind of how I became Christian, man. I'm gonna get into another video on how the gospel changed our life. Uh, but that's kind of was my was my transition. Uh, just kind of those, what was that, three or four stages. My, my, my mom and dad, Stefina and her father, uh, moving to Atlanta, uh, hearing the gospel, but the gospel wasn't shared, it wasn't articulated, um, and then, uh, yeah, looking it up. And then looking it up, yeah, then looking it up on YouTube. For me, I was brought up in the church. Um, my mom and my dad always took me to church, so that was awesome. I know that then I wasn't really, I would say I wouldn't, I didn't really appreciate it as much. Um, being a kid, I didn't, nothing really sparked my interest. Um, I would go to church and literally just go to church. Um, but then as I grew up and, you know, became married and wanted to um, have my marriage echo what Christ in the church looks like, um, I started to become interested in what that actually meant. Uh, my husband actually was the first one to introduce the gospel to me, um, being, you know, Christ. Christ living a perfect life and dying and raising again. He presented that to me. I even growing up, um, I probably only heard it on Easter Sunday. Um, but even on Easter Sunday, I was too interested in everybody else's outfits in church. And then they explained the Mexican way where it's just like <laughs> he rose up. And the way they explained it, man, talking about uh, the man in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this Easter Sunday, if your man come with the man in the middle sermon, man, come on, doc. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, so that that's my that was my uh, story as to how I became a Christian or came to the knowledge of Christianity. Um, I was always I've always known um, of Christianity, just didn't know the gospel per se. So 
um, that just happened. So. And that's kind of what it's kind of where we be at, man. It's kind of like what is the what is the line between going to church and really being Christian? Sometimes we use words so loosely. You know what I'm saying? To now you say, oh, everybody's a Christian that, and they don't believe in Christ. Like, how does that work? That you're a Christian, but you don't believe in his death, that he died for our sins, that he was buried to take away our sins, that he rose so that we can be justified and made right before God. Uh, and that one day he coming back for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, like you say that you're Christian, but you don't even believe in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or you like, and another thing is kind of like living our life in a lifestyle, like having our life reflect the gospel that we believe, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's another thing, so, yeah man, we're gonna do a whole other video on how the gospel changed our life, uh, and kind of go into depth and digging and kind of what we talk about, but that's how we came to Christianity, if you have any questions about being a Christian, man, comment in the comment section below, um, if you don't want to do that, uh, send us a personal message, our email is below as well, um, and we'll love it, man, we'll FaceTime y'all, we'll do whatever, if you're here in the city, we'll link up, you know what I'm saying, if you got any questions, man, that's what we're here for, uh, so yeah man, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, you know the deal, and we'll see you guys in the next video. We love you guys. Peace.